Hi everyone and welcome to your tech tip of the week. In this video, we're going to be working inside a voice thread and we're going to talk about how you can comment on a video as it's playing. If you're not familiar with it, VoiceThread is an application that we offer for use here on campus that allows a person to have an asynchronous discussion over a centralized piece of media. So in this example, my VoiceThread has a video as my central media that I want to have a conversation about. The very first comment on a voice thread is going to show up before the initial media and serve as an introduction for what the participants are about to see. Any comment that's made after the initial one is going to show up after the media, which is represented here by the camera. So if I click on my camera, it's going to start playing my video and the video I use was a past tech tip that I've made. Hi everyone and welcome to your tech tip of Let's say I want to make a comment on it as it's playing to point out any particular points that I want to make to my participants. In order for me to do that, I'm going to navigate down to the little scrubber ball here on my timeline and drag it over to the point in the video where I want to make a comment. So if I go here and then I press on the little plus sign as normal when I'm commenting, it gives me my options and I want to choose an audio or a video comment. In this case, I'll choose an audio comment and now it's recording my voice. So I can move my mouse around to show what I want to show, or I can even annotate using the little pen here. I can choose a color and circle what I want to circle. And then once I'm done and I'm happy with my comment, I'm going to press stop recording. Ow, it's re I've saved my comment. And once it's uploaded, you can see on the timeline, there's a little blue dot that shows up where I made my comment. Now, if I go back and I play this video for myself to hear, I'm not going to hear that comment record over the video because that would ruin the integrity of the video. So what I would do is hover over the little blue dot and you'll see a little timeline of every single comment that's been made and at one point in the video it was made. As you have more participants watching and commenting, you'll have different names. Since I'm the only person commenting on this video, that's why it's only me showing up. So the last comment I made was at a minute and 41 seconds. If I click on that comment, now it's recording my voice. So I can it took me right to the bottom of where I made that comment and it's going to play that video that I made showing my comment. If I want to delete my comment, I would just go about it as normal, hover over my thumbnail here and press the little trash can. What I like about this tip is that it allows you to look at commenting in a different way. Instead of waiting until the very end of the video to make your comment, you can say what you have to say when you feel like saying it. And this is great, especially if you have a very strong view about the video at that particular point. I hope you like this tip and that you found it useful. Thank you for joining me for your tech tip of the week. Have a great weekend.